Hey guys, so we're spying on the competitors down the road. I'm just kidding. We're not, we're not spying. Obviously, I'm just doing my market research. Um, this is the first legitimate car wash within close proximity to our site. It's 1.7 miles away. Uh, I'd actually say you can't, you're not going to be able to see it from anywhere we're taking video from, but Walmart is just across the street behind like this strip mall over here. And so really their location is A plus. It's a prime location. They've got three self-serve bays. Um, and then they have a, they have like a little mini tunnel that's a conveyor style car wash. And then they have a pull-in automatic that's I think like a hybrid between a touch-free and a, and a friction wash and so, or a soft touch. And so really that's what we're up against, but I just wanna see kind of what they're using, what amenities they provide, what their costs are, so that we can match it and do better, right? So that's kind of the name of the game is not only match what the competitors have as far as service and quality, but do it at, do it in a better way or you know one-up them and, and be competitive in price. So let's see what they got. Okay, so this wash has three booms in it. You've got a foam brush. Well, they've got two foam brushes actually. So that's probably the same. And then they've got one high pressure wand. So let's see what the meter box tells us they have. So they actually really only have two booms. They have a north brush and a south brush, which is because one of their brushes is not hooked up to like a boom that swings over the car. So you can't really get to both sides. So they got that option. And then other than that, they just have their wand. So, I mean, not to bag on them or anything, but they're really not providing a lot of services to their customers. Uh, they're not providing air dryers, uh, the little air chamois is what you'll see them called sometimes, and they're not doing triple foam uh, spray on conditioner or a wire a, uh, wheel and tire cleaner. Sometimes you'll see a foam brush that's for like the body of the car and then a littler brush that's for the wheels and the tires to clean like chromes and stuff. So. Not seeing that. You know, obviously, once again, we're talking about us. That's, we're just gonna be self-serve only just getting, getting started. Uh, looking at automatic in the future, but they also have automatics, which is kind of a different business model. So really, we're just primarily looking today at what they have as far as um, self-serve equipment. So they also have a couple vacuum setups here. They actually have these like, uh, chamois vacs. These are their paid vacuums right here. Uh, obviously no one's using them. Everyone right now is at the free vacuums, which is actually on like an arc, like an arch style vacuum setup. I've looked into it already. It's actually a really expensive setup. I can't believe that people will spend all that money to do that vacuum system and then give it to their customers for free. We're not going to do any free vacuums on our site to start. Just because our setup's more traditional like this with it, with it on a pedestal. Obviously no one's paying for it, but we're also almost two miles away from this site. And so I don't know if the free vacuums are gonna be a game changer anyways. The one thing that is kind of uh, di differentiates those vacuums from the vacuums that are on these pedestals right here is that some of these vacuums have like shampoos and fragrances that you can use in your car. So it's more of like a detailing feature. And I guess people will pay for that every once in a while, just a small upsell. So we're actually down the street at a car wash um, attached to a gas station. It's actually an automatic bay. So they're really not gonna be um, in direct competition with us, at least getting started here, because all we have getting started is five self-serve bays. Um, but it, it is a car wash, right? So we do have to kind of consider it. This is probably only like a little over a quarter mile down the street from the site that we're looking at and um, the closest one to, to us at least. And so they have, they have this, they probably sell this wash from their gas pumps um, down, down there, but it looks like their, their minimum wash is $6 and their high end wash is $12. And it's a, uh, it's a friction wash, we're basically meaning it has it has pads and stuff that actually touch the car. And so, as opposed to like a touchless that would just spray water and soaps and stuff. So, I mean, uh, it's something that we're considering as we're doing our wash is what does the competition have? What are we up against? 
how busy are they like right now uh, there was a car in here just as we were getting here I think we got some video of of it pulling out of the dryers but right now we're not seeing a lot which we wouldn't really expect because I mean their business is to the convenience store they're not probably marketing very heavy on on about their car wash but something to look at so this is actually kind of cool um, I just realized I just noticed this as I was leaving is they've gone toward this subscription model which is kind of uh, we we're gonna look into different ways that we can do a subscription like a monthly charge at our car wash um, their charge to go for unlimited washes at this car wash is $30 a month uh, and they're offering 50% off their first two months so with a self-serve we can't really it's hard to offer that same type of subscription but there's some people trying to do it in a couple different ways where they're giving them double the credits than what they pay for if they sign up to be charged monthly and then they, they can use those credits at the wash um, I think I'm going to do a video in the future about uh, the subscription model around the self-serve wash because there's like three different companies that do it and I'm going to have to look into each one of those three and decide which one I want to give a shot shot to or I want to maybe talk with some other car wash owners that are also using using these different apps on your phone and stuff to do it so but interesting that they're doing a, they've got a monthly setup here All right, so they actually have one vacuum here at this place and the interesting thing about it is they have the same card readers that we're gonna have at our car wash um, just on the just for the vacuum itself so uh, it's these Nyax card readers and um, they just have one vacuum I honestly I drive by here quite a bit I've never seen anyone using this vacuum um, but we're gonna try to at least match or do better than what our competition is so probably something we'll look into is uh, having vacuums that accept cards as well so the other thing is too uh, when checking out your competition is like maybe kind of just just a tip I'm I'm trying to figure out what the costs of my car wash are gonna be you know figure out all those financials right so that I can start making decisions on whether it's gonna work out and, and things like that so I was actually calling around um, to like the city uh, public service department for like costs of water and sewer and I actually like started having a conversation with the lady and I was able to get her to tell me a little bit about you know and I said hypothetically like what are the hard costs of a car wash for water and sewer in Magna City so there's really only two car washes in Magna City so she basically knows what I'm talking like you know what's my competition down the street paying for water and sewer um, so but you know framing it hypothetically and I was being you know friendly and everything she basically told me what they're paying for water and sewer and so when I start up my wash I can have a very solid idea of what those expenses are gonna be so that's another way to like leverage your competition or learn from your competition is uh, you know talk to their suppliers you know whether it's their distributor for chemical equipment or you know the city that supplies their water and service uh, water and sewer services we're actually just like we were leaving and we drove by another car wash that's actually still in the same city as the one we're setting up but at this point we're like three miles away so I wouldn't necessarily say we're in direct competition with them unless unless there's people out here that are like really specific and adamant on the car wash they want to go to like they're they're probably just gonna go to the one that's closest to them right and so th there's not gonna be a lot we can do to pull customers away from this car wash just because ours is nicer because it, we're still 10 minutes away maybe not a 10 minute drive but we're a ways away but this is another car wash you know that we we look at and we, we say what do they have is there anything unique to them uh, pretty basic pretty standard they're not offering a lot of options uh, the bays are wide not super tall so we feel like we can basically pull a FedEx truck into any one of our bays and so a lot of people with different toys and stuff will, will go through there but if you look down below their meter box they actually have the coin vault set up kind of like we're gonna do um, obviously that's not gonna affect the customers you get or anything but it gives us an idea of what we can, how we can set up ours. And so 
I just drive around a lot of times and just look at other people's washes, see what, see what they have and see if I can pick up any marketing ideas or anything. The, the thing is, most people, most of these car washes have been in business for 30 years or so and at this point they're not really doing marketing. Uh, they just kind of have a client base, they're just kind of the known wash in the area. So. Anyway, they are charging for their vacuums though, so um, I'm not a big fan of the free vacuum, so good for them that they actually charge their customers for the services they provide. <laughs>